Life Magazine published a study that said most people wait until Thursday night or later to plan their weekends. And guess what happens? Friends already have plans, the concert's already sold out, and we end up with very little to do, the weekend slips through our fingers, and we get to Monday morning and we're not refreshed. The harder we work, the more important it is that we spend our limited time off in a way that really restores our energy. But that takes organization. It takes thinking things through. And I wanna make that easier for you with two very concrete tips. One, think of your weekend as seven units of time. Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and the same three blocks on Sunday. Then. Think in advance how you want to use each of those seven blocks. And it's okay if you want to use a couple of them to just laze around. That's fine. Just plan it in advance so you don't feel guilty. And then as you're planning those seven units of time, use my PEP formula to create the right mix of activities that really restore your energy. There are three components of our personal life that we tend to neglect the most when we're working too hard, but they're our true sources of energy and the acronym PEP spells it out. P is for physical health, sleep, exercise, eating wholesome meals, maybe even getting to the doctor or getting a massage, the care and feeding of the body that really restores us. E is for escapes, and escapes are like our hobbies or passions. It's activities that the minute we do them, we are instantly transported, not thinking about work, not thinking about problems, but fully engaged in what we're doing. And if you can find an escape that you do every weekend, that will give you more energy in a more efficient way than anything else I can think of. And the third P in the PEP formula is for people, another source of energy if we plan properly. So who are the people that every time you spend time with make you feel confident, calm, absorbed, happy, and energized? And plan in advance how you're going to fit those people into your schedule. I challenge you and encourage you to plan each weekend, at least half of that weekend, by the end of the weekend before. And that gives you all that excitement and enthusiasm as you look forward to it all week long. This is Julie Morgenstern, organizing you from the inside out.